everybody just a fair warning this is going to be an extremely long video this is going to be an unboxing and a setup of a laptop computer I just picked up two of them one for me one for my mom one for my mom's birthday and one for me I really don't need it MSI never heard of them before but the MSI GE 75 Raider gaming laptop 10th generation Intel Core i7 10750H. It's got a GeForce RTX 2060. It's 1080p. It's got a 17.3 inch display, 16 gigs of memory, one terabyte hard drive. I think it's 50, I'm pretty sure it's 5400 RPM and 512 gigabyte SSD. This thing is on sale. Normally it's $1399, so let's just say normally it's $1400 and it's $200 off, so it's $1199.99. So this is the unboxing. Is the camera up high enough? Yeah, it's a lot easier not to do videos like this. You just do your stuff and you get it done. You get her done, but um, when you do a video like this, you gotta shut off the TV. Review and receive headset campaign submission through 9.30, so you get Review and, re oh, I don't like when companies do that. You know, I'm an uh, Amazon influencer and a YouTube influencer. And what do they say? Post a laptop review on your retailer's page. Proof of purchase, screenshot of the review, or website link to your review and your mailing address, and we'll send you headphones. So that's why there are all those great reviews on there. Wow. Whoa. -ho -ho. Look at the size of this power adapter, this AC adapter. This thing is beef a mundo. So this looks like a plastic cover, I think. I don't want to tear this apart and break it. Um, but it comes with the instruction book. This is going to be the long part of it. You know, with a video like this, what do you want me to do for a review? Say it's got awesome timing for the, uh, the CPU or the video or the... This is an unboxing. This is a long unboxing. Has instructions for the F3 hotkey recovery in case there's an unrecoverable error. You press the F3 key and it will guide you through, walk you through, probably wiping out your data. Maybe, I'm not sure. And now we've got this humongous instruction thing and I'm going to go through every one of these things. So as I said, if you don't want to watch my video, that's up to you. That's totally up to you. Um, Everybody knows right over here there's going to be a webcam and there's a webcam LED and an internal microphone up over here. Sorry about getting everything inside the picture. Power button's over here. That's unusual. Normally the power button's somewhere over on the top. We can see the, uh, the plus and the minus. So the power button is over there for number two. Number three is a quick launch button. Where is the quick launch button? I am corrected. The power button is over here. Is that it? Is that the power switch? That's the power switch over here. These are quick launch buttons. I have no idea what the quick launch buttons are. Um, hold on. Cooler boost, I don't know what that is. And SSE, I don't know what that is either. Number four is the touchpad. Let's get over to the touchpad. This is the touchpad, obviously and your mouse over there. Number five is the keyboard. Sorry about the light reflection. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. Number six is the status light. Ah, there's a little LED over here somewhere. That's the status light. I don't know if that light comes... Now, there's a status light over here for the power button, so I don't know what the sixth status light is. Um, oh, the status light over here is right next to the caps lock, so that's the caps lock. Caps well, that's a good one to say, caps lock light. That is really kind of cute how they put that over there. Normally, I don't know if there's a light on there. Um, number seven, where is number seven? Hold on, I don't want to delay you forever. There are some lights over here on the front. There are three lights over here on the front. The one on the left is going to be your Wi-Fi or your LAN. That's interesting that they put them over here. They've done a really di uh, nice job of moving things around. So there is a Wi-Fi light. There's a battery status. Are there three lights? Yeah, there are three lights. There's a Wi-Fi light over here. There's a battery status light. 
continuously blinking if the battery fails. If the battery, if the problem persists, contact. Okay, so the middle light, if it blinks continuously, you've got a battery problem. And the right light is your drive activity indicator. So that's number seven. Told you it was going to be a long video. Tripod lowered down so we can see over here we have number eight, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one port. And another port over there. Number nine over here, we have the power connector on the right. Okay, I guess these are cooling vents. Number ten, now this is nice, a card reader. I definitely could use that. I know the lighting's not that great, sorry. Um, and they even list it. Number eleven, ventilator. Number twelve is on the other side. I moved the uh, lighting down a little bit so you can see that if you want to. Ventilator, power thing, USB, card reader. And over here on the front, those are the three status lights I was telling you about. Now we're going to turn this to the other side and see what kind of things are on this one. Um, obviously we have more ventilator holes. Uh, what else do we have here? 9, 10. What is 10? Oh boy, I'm going to have to uh, stop for a minute. Oh, I showed you 10 before. Number 11. There are lots of, uh, I know the lighting's not great. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better. Oh, now we're out of focus because I try to zoom in. I lowered down the lighting to make my viewers happy. I don't know if anyone's going to watch this whole thing. Probably not. But if you do, like all of us YouTube people say, please do the thumbs up, subscribe, like, uh, share. What else is there? If you want to support me, ask for my PayPal info if this video helped you out. If you want to... Uh, Support me another way if you order from Amazon. Check my video description. I will leave Amazon affiliate links in the description. If you click on those before you put in your order of anything, you click on the link, it will take you to Amazon. Put in your order right after that, and I'll get like a tiny fraction of a few cents for the order that you put in. So anytime you order from Amazon, if you want to do that, that will help me out. But that's up to you. So number 12, we've got the Kensington... Uh, lock over there. Twelve. Okay, we've got more ventilator things. Am I looking at this thing the right way? Yeah, that's right. The twelve is the Kensington. Thirteen is the HDMI connector over there. We all know what that looks like. Um, I'm assuming that's for, uh, I don't know if that's video out or if that is, uh, probably, we'll see. 14, what do we have? We have another USB 3.2. This is a Gen 2 port. Why not just put Gen 2 ports on everything instead of have, having two Gen 1 ports? I don't understand why these people do this. More ventilator stuff over here. Uh, we've got the RJ45 internet jack over there. 18, what is 18? I don't even know what that looks like. The mini, I guess that's the mini video port. Uh, mini display port number 19 we've got the okay the, can't, the the display is so dirty it's hard to see what I'm doing looks like we have a uh, USB type C it's a 3.2 there's another gen 2 we got more ventilators over here 22 22 on the bottom is a reset hole is that on the bottom yeah on the bottom there's a reset hole there's a battery reset hole there's stereo speakers and their woofer speakers optional. How's that for a view? Okay, so they say when you're going to power this up for the first time, they want you to plug in the AC adapter. Well, of course. Plug the, uh, the small plug into the side of the laptop. Plug the AC cord into the wall. Again, as I said, that AC adapter is mucho awesome. Um, they've got function keys on here, and you're probably going to have... Let me raise this up a little bit. So we all know what function keys are. There's an FN key over here. That is the, that's the function key. And then up at the top, we've got the F1, F2, F3. So what happens is you press the F function key, and then one of these keys up here. I'm just going to read you really fast because the video is going to go for hours. I'm not going to read you the function keys. This will take forever. 
Uh, one launches the Dragon Center application, one switch to super battery mode, the power saving mode provided by Dragon Center. Another one, enable or disable the webcam function. Uh, another one, select a proper user scenario between extreme performance, balance, silence, super battery, user provided by Dragon Center. I don't know what this Dragon Center is all about. Uh, another one, enable or disable the airplane mode function. The next, switch the display output mode between the LCD or the external monitor or both. <coughs> um, one decreases the LCD brightness, the other increases the brightness. One decreases the built-in speaker volume, the other increases the speaker built-in speaker volume. One mutes both built-in speakers. One forces the computer into sleep mode depending on the system configuration. One increased the keyboard LED brightness level. The other decreased the LED, the keyboard LED brightness level. The other one launched the true color application optional. I have no idea if I've got that. And the last one changed the different view modes in true color, which is optional. And we're going to watch what happens for the first time as this powers up. That's showing yellow on the camera. I don't know why, because it's showing red on the screen. That's, that makes no sense at all. It's set to English over there. Really neat. Look at this. I don't know if my mom's going to be happy with that. Um, this up for English, United States. And now the camera, of course, is going to start messing up on me. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Oh my god. Okay. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Now, I think that's kind of neat that... Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Is she going to accept that? Oh, wow. That's pretty Your neat. keyboard is set to U.S. Want to stick with that? Uh, yes, honey. She didn't like that. This is kind of like having an... Oh, I've never been married, but maybe this is what guys go through when they're married, you have this annoying voice bothering you, walking you through things. Yes. I said yes. Did you hear me? Make me a sandwich. Do yeah. you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Oh, so now, now she's not taking my voice, I have to do skip. Now we have some important setup to do. And this is the part that I don't want to deal with, where they force you to set up a Microsoft account. Hopefully, in this version, they will not force me to do it. Um, I will be probably shutting off Katana. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Okay, so they're probably going to force a... Next up, the legal stuff. The legal in short, stuff. you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. No Windows, and then you return your computer. All right, so I clicked on Accept. I don't know if it took it. It did not take it. I'll be shutting off Katana, and uh, I'm going to be putting in the classic shell to make this look like Windows 7, so I don't have to... Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. Hold I'll on. catch up with you once that's done. Hold on. Okay. Um... Create an account. This is where they're trying to force you to set up an account with Microsoft, and I do not like when they do this. And so what I've been told you need to do is unplug your internet connection, which I just did, and make sure if you have Wi-Fi, disconnect your Wi-Fi. And now I'm going to try to get around this. So there are many ways with... Um, with Windows 10 that they've been forcing people to set up an account and I'm just gonna click on next on the bottom now and see what it does enter a valid email address or Skype I don't want to do that um, terms of use what do we have down here ease of access or disable voice that's not what I want to do 
I, I do not want to be forced to set up an account. So there are ways to do this. I'm just going to press enter. That didn't work. Ways. The first one is going to be I'm going to put user into the create account, and then I'm going to click next on the bottom. And then it's going to ask there was, there was an issue looking up your account. Okay, maybe this isn't going to work. Sometimes they let you put in the name user and then you put in the password user and then it says there was an issue with that account, it's locked out, do you want to create an offline account? This is making me pretty upset that it's not allowing me to do an offline account. Back, hold on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click the back button over here. We're going to try to figure out many ways to do this. I have a video online of how to set up your account without the Microsoft thing, and there are different ways to do it. We're going to click on the back button up at the top left. Type what you want to name your account. Um, and it does not allow me to set up. Okay, so I'm going to do user. This might work now. I'm going to type in user. Maybe it's going to let me do the password. Okay, now type a password for your account. Okay. If this is going to help everybody, again, do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, support my channel. Use the uh, look in the video description, the Amazon affiliate links. Click on those before you order from Amazon. Donate to my channel. Help me out. Watch, just watch everything. Okay, so I typed in user. Password is going to be user, and let's see what happens here. I think we're going to beat this thing this time. But you either... If you're in the position where, that I was in where it won't allow you to set it up with user and then user try to shut off the Wi-Fi mode or put it into air, turn off the air, airplane mode or put it into airplane mode, you want to shut off your connections. In my case, I had to click on the back button over there. Let's see. I put user and user. Are we going to get... Type what you want to name your account. Check that out, people. I just saved half the world that doesn't want to set up a Microsoft account. I'm saving everybody. Did it allow me to do it or did this not? Who's going to use the PC? Um, let's just type user for now. I was going to type something rude, but I want this to be a good video. Uh, so we're, do, we're doing user, user, and user. I can okay, now type a password for your account. This is not going to let me do this. <laughs> oh, my God. And one more time to make sure we've got it right. User, 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 user. So what I did is I set the account name up as user, I set the password up as user, and then it asked for something else. Maybe it just rejected it, but is this going to take it? Now you can set up three security questions Shut to help out, you reset people. your password Shut if you forget it. it. I Choose the first question YouTube. and type your answer. Okay, so I'm going to have to do the three secure Tate questions. I'll be back after I finish those. Please. Wait a minute. Okay, I want to... No, I don't want to sync anything. I do not want to do syncing. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? No, decline. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. I'm waiting for the thing where it says that I have to sign up for an MSI account or I can't use this. Okay, accept everything was turned off. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. They've got Looking to, forward to helping out. They've got to do the MSI account. You've got to set it up so that we can set up your warranty, and we'll say, hi, we're getting ready, everything. Now, after all of this is gone, that's when I'm going to plug in my data cable. Well, I can plug in the data cable right now. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to plug in the data cable so that... This can start updating Windows if it needs to do that. And that could be what's going on right now. And then I'm going to go through um, settings. I'm going to click the enter on the keyboard. And we're going to see what's going on here. Um, update and security. Can, is that still showing? It's kind of out of focus a little bit. Update and security. Now I thought this was a touch screen. Maybe I bought a computer thinking it was a touch screen and it isn't. I'm going to click on Update and Security. Your device is missing an important security 
and quality fixes, check for updates. Your device is missing, it's checking for updates. Now if you try to do this on a computer with Windows XP, I don't even think they'll give you the updates anymore. Windows 7, it will take you forever. We are updating the real tech. Pending restart, pending restart. So click on the restart button. And then I'm gonna find out, remember I did user, user, user. I don't know what, what that third user was for. Maybe it was a duplicate a duplication, a duplicate for my Spanish, my Espanole. Um, and afterwards, then you, can go, you should be able to go in there and set up the account so you don't have to put in a username and password. My mom's not going to want to put in a username and password every time she turns this thing on if it shuts off. So, uh, And you'll set that up in the account thing. Work features, okay, so the time, everything's done. Lights are flickering on and off. I pressed, that's what it was, and now the camera's out of focus. Forgot. With Windows 10, you have to press the uh, mouse button on a part of the screen to get this thing up. So I was pressing the, the Windows button, but it's not going to come up. So the name is user as I set it up, and I put in, this better work, and I put in the password of user. And what do we have here? Do you want to join our private beta? Can I do this with right click? What you should also do, your device is missing, check for updates. What I told you, you're probably going to have to do this a few times. What you definitely want to do is check all of your, uh, you want to do your Windows updates, that's the important thing. And then I'm going to do the Windows Classic Shell in a minute to get rid of this nightmare. And what's the other thing I was going to say? Uh, I'm going to delete Norton Antivirus and I'm going to put a Vast on here. Very first thing, Norton Security, right click, that didn't work. Norton Security, press the left button, right click, uninstall, change. That's the first thing I'm doing on my brand new computer is taking Norton off. Um, it's a new machine, so I'm not really going to do any importing of anything. Uh, I can sync it up later, which I'm not going to do on this machine because this is going to go to my mom for her birthday. Uh, Norton, no, I don't want to restart now. And I'm, I'm going to go into settings and we're going to go to update and securitate, security. Check for updates. You're up to date, but you don't know, so you check for updates. It's the third time we're doing this after we started the machine. And you just have to keep doing this till you get it. You, you don't have to. You can just leave it alone and it will do it over time. But you should do this. Uh, downloading so we've got one more update and then I'm probably gonna have to restart the machine and then um, I'm gonna go in here and install the Windows Classic Shell the website is classicshell.net be really careful when you go there there's, there's a whole bunch of ad stuff on there you go to the site you want to click on your language don't click on anything else that's on there. Look for the language. and First, you want to click on the download now. You're going to get a screen with all the languages. Click on that. Don't get caught up by clicking on any of the other junk. And then you install it. Next. I accept. Next. Now, if you like Windows 10 and you want to mess with the Windows 10 menus, that's up to you. Don't do this. If you're sick of the Windows 10 change and you just want, yeah, I'm going to click on yes, and you just want it to be like you've always been used to with Windows 7 or Windows 10 keyboard. And there you go. That's what Windows Classic, or Classic, whatever the heck this thing is. It turns it into a completely different, instead of having those crazy icons. So now, remember how I had to type in settings? Now I can go over here. I've got settings down at the bottom. One last thing that is pretty important, because I can't stand these annoying lights on the keyboard. So the way you get around that is there's the function key, the FN on the bottom left here, bottom row, and we have the plus key and we have the minus key. So let me turn off the lights over here. Press the function key with your left hand and a new minus key. It's a little brighter, a little brighter. I'm gonna go to the plus key, function and plus key, function and plus key, it's dimmer, function and plus key, it's off. Function and plus key, it's still off. Function and minus key, it's on. Function and minus key, it's on. Function and minus key, it's brighter. I don't know that you can change 
the color pattern on here, I haven't been able to find it in some of the MSIs, they allow you to change the color.